we tie all the curtains back. All the yurts have these chairs. This is our little our little cleaning box. And uh Kath is getting what we call a uh, 66, and the 66 is used to clean all the furniture in here. All the yurts have tables like this and two uh, quite heavy wooden chairs. They all have heaters, you can see down there. So that's the other thing we check, make sure those have been turned off. Most people are real good about that. And we try to pull all the curtains back. No. Let's see, I guess I can come over here and pull these back. You can open these windows up too. You can see they've got uh, zippered windows and uh, plastic also. They're really cool. So you can get a lot of uh, ventilation in here. And they all have these futons that fold down into a bed. And we clean those with 66 also. And then all of these uh, have the the bunk beds and they're clean with 66. Wiped down to get all the sand off of them. Usually quite a bit of sand, but folks are real good about cleaning these. So what Kath is gonna do next is uh, she'll be sweeping this floor. Do you wanna tell us what it's like to sweep the floor? Well, we use natural bristle brooms <laughs> <laughs> and a 99 cent store um, dust collector, dirt collector. It's called Awesome? And it, it okay. We use Awesome. Okay. The chemical, but not until it's swept. And there isn't a whole lot more to say about this. Alrighty. Okay, while she's doing that, I'm going to step outside here. These all have really large decks of different configurations. They all have picnic tables. They all have fire pits. So we're in loop A right now. They have yurts in uh, loops A, B, and C. So we'll come out here and uh, make sure all of this area is all clean and swept out and tidy. And uh, so there you go. I'm happy to have presented this to you, and we hope that you enjoyed this little video of cleaning the yurts.